I don't know what you guys are trying to do. I don't know. Why didn't you take these books out and say, that's it, we're done with these books, but you guys want to sit here and just keep the books? You know, instead of you guys taking the six books out, we wouldn't even be here. What's the problem? What's the agenda? What are you getting out of it? We don't want kids to have access to these books. It's nice and simple. I'm not going to address the situation no more. It is. It is what it is. And the only person that's behind this is Rashida Tlaib. Do not vote for Rashida Tlaib. It's nice and simple. I'm done. That was a passionate Hassan Ayoun, but many know him as Hass Cash, a Dearborn, Michigan community activist fighting against books. Him and other parents in their district find inappropriate for children. Uh, he joins us live now. Has thanks so much for coming on. We do appreciate that. Welcome to National Report. Uh, um, to, to jump in here, take us back to that moment. Why you felt so passionate about this? What is it about these books? And are we talking about an elementary school, a middle school, a high school? Set this up for the viewers that may not know. Elementary school, usually. And you felt passionate to get out. I know you have nieces and nephews in the system. Is that right? Yes. What bothers you about the books? The materials that's in the books, they're not appropriate for children. They're very, like, like nude and all that. And it explains that to become gay and this and that. Yeah, those books over there should not be on the shelf. And I know you issued a FOIA request to the school. And they responded in part. We'll read this for our viewers there. Quote, the district's response to this request to issue a notice extending the response time an additional 10 business days described in the Michigan Freedom of Information Act. Uh, again, that is the response. Have you seen that? What is your reaction to the district essentially pushing back their response time regarding the curriculum that you're fighting against? I called the coordinator. I said, listen, you got two hours. If I don't get the 10 day extension, I'm going to sit there and come protest. Guess what happened? Within an hour, he sent me the 10 day extension. And the extension, how does that help you right now? Are, are you pleased with that? Yeah, I'm pleased because they, uh, they're entitled to a 10 day business day extension because they have a, probably a lot of materials to dig up. You know, you may, when we listened along with you there, and, and, and viewers are watching along to your speech, uh, you mentioned Congress member Rashida Tlaib um, a few times and that she should not be in office. Why do you feel that way? She shouldn't be in office. She's with the books. Uh, they want drag queens in our school, you know, the attorney general's office, and that should not be in our school. These, these are kids. We don't want no drag queens in our school. You know, this is this is about education. This is not about changing uh, your, your from a girl to a guy and guy to a girl. You, we can't do that. This is not justified for children. Children are supposed to sit here and learn, not learn how to become gay or whatever. You know, this is not a situation. This is all about schooling, and this uh, the parents should not sit here and allow this there at the schools. There's no there's no way. Do you plan to attend more of these meetings or is your fight over or other parents? It's not over. It's not over until the, like, the books are taken out of all Dearborn Library schools and public schools. Have you reached out to Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib about this? Perhaps you could. No, she's not going to reach out. She's not going to what's it called. She's sitting there and just ignoring the situation. All right. Again, uh, Concerned member there in the community does not want these books on the shelves in the elementary schools. Obviously, you've seen many parents speak out. You are clearly not the only one, as we've seen dozens of them behind you there. Final thoughts from you, and then I'll let you go. Uh, yesterday, they had a meeting with a Democratic Party at Habib's restaurant in Dearborn. The governor came. All the Democrats came. I don't know what they talked about, but I heard they were over there yesterday talking about the situation. Uh, because it's affecting them because of election. 19 days until midterm elections there. Uh, voters yeah. will make their voices heard. I'm sure you'll make your voice heard there. Uh, major Michigan gubernatorial race as well. That's something I'm sure you're interested in too. I'm interested in people voting Republican because the Democrats want this in our schools. It's, 
And that's that's my goal as people to vote a Republican. All right. It's time to change. You know, we need that change. Hassan Ayoun joining us live, better known as Has Cash. Has, good to see you. Thank you for your time. And Thank you for having story. me here. You got it. Take care.